So this is a um, single cylinder Thomas motor. Um, and it's quite unusual in the fact that um, one, it's classically single cylinder Thomas. Normally it would say, say uh, Thomas Motor Company here uh, and then the number. Um, and for this motor has been known for 60 years, um, but nobody ever knew what number it was. But if you look at it there, it fairly clearly says 415. And if you look at the crankcase here, it's number 29, which ironically is one number past our 1902 Thomas motor. So um, amazingly, this motor has been sitting around for over 60 years. It was found in Western Victoria. Nobody knows how a Thomas single cylinder Thomas motor would have got to Western Victoria but it did, and thankfully it's now in our possession. And amazingly, as I start to disassemble it, to be able to clean it up with a view to putting it on a stand and getting it running as a Thomas motor, um, amazingly, the gudgeon pin is free in the piston and the crankshaft, after we release the bearings, is all free. So I'm just gonna try and wrangle that out now. There we are. So that's fairly typical uh, Thomas style crankshaft. Uh, this is where the flywheel would have gone, and this is where the transmission, which was two speed planetary, would have hung off the end. Now, where that two speed planetary is, uh, nobody knows, but um, this is just an absolutely amazing find. Um, I want to check the bore on it to work out whether indeed it is a eight horsepower. Thomas motor, the same as the model 17 and 18s, or whether it is a six horsepower, which would make it a Buffalo motor. Um, still 1902, but very early 1902. Um, so we'll continue the pursuit of uh, stripping it down and getting it uh, ready to rebuild.